Hey, hey, it's Leanne here and Simon on Loving Life Now. And uh, today's topic, we're thinking beyond your current circumstances. And we're actually going to go live on uh, Instagram as well. So we're just uh, waiting for that to pop and then we're Don't live. The intro. Yay. Okay, <laughs> I'll then. do the intro again. <laughs> so uh, thanks for joining us on Loving Life Now. I'm Leanne, this is Simon, and today we're talking about thinking beyond your current circumstances. Well, hey everyone, great to be here. Thanks, Lee, for the uh, introduction and welcoming everyone. Yeah, so we're doing something different today. We are, we are doing something different. So if you join us on Facebook, pop it in the chat, let us know you're here. Hello, Christine Hill, welcome to you. And I can see, is it Unang? Is that how I pronounce I it? It sounds well. like Unang Betty. I'm Bidi. just going to do some sharing. So uh, big hello to you. So pop your details in, let us know you join us on Facebook. We are also hey, streaming guys. live on Instagram. So can hey we there, Insta. Her? We've got Summon. Uh, great to see you over hey. there. We've got a great topic we're going to be talking about this evening called Thinking Beyond Your Current Circumstances. So if you're looking to, uh, well, it's a pretty appropriate topic at the moment, Lee, isn't <laughs> it? it? Is. Thinking Beyond Your Current Circumstances. We had to, had to laugh about it when we chose the topic. Not, you know, we just choose these topics out of our personal development yeah. program that we work with. And um, wow, there's so much synergy between what's going on at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to having a discussion this evening about um, how you think beyond your current circumstances and what you do to, mm -hmm. to create success. So if you've joined us on Facebook, pop your details in. Hi, Shani. Hi, Debbie. Sue, hello to Tara. How and are you? And if you're over on Instagram, do the same. And Instagram. <laughs> hey there, people on Insta. Great to have you there. It's our first time going live on Instagram, It actually. is. We are going live on Instagram. We're going to start uploading to IGTV as well. So we are. Um, we'll start that as of this week. So looking good. I'm just doing some sharing, so you keep talking. You're just doing some sharing, all right, while you're sharing. So again, the topic for this evening, you've just joined us, is thinking beyond your current circumstances. And... Uh, as Lee and I said, it's it's just such an appropriate. All the topics that we're choosing at the moment have so much relevance to what's going on, just from a mindset point of view and how you overcome. G'day, Nick. How are you? Uh, see Luan there. G'day to you, Georgina. And uh, if you've joined us over on uh, Instagram, we're going live hey, hey. on Instagram as well. So big hi to the uh, the followers on Instagram there. The I don't know which camera to look at. <laughs> now we've got two phones, two cameras going. Lee's got the laptop. She's sharing across how other pages. So thanks for joining us on uh, Loving Life Now. And of course, we'll be sharing this across to Simon and Leanne. Hey, I think he's joined us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Michelle Peel, hi to you. And Colette in New Zealand, welcome. And uh, Julie Gay Murphy, hi to you. Bruce Partridge, welcome. So we're uh, streaming live on Facebook. So welcome. If you've just joined us on Facebook, pop your details in, let us know you're here. And we're also going live this evening on Instagram. And so we've got, over here. we've got both <laughs> happening, two phones, two cameras, um, on live on Instagram, live on Facebook. So uh, All right, nearly done. Nearly done. You're sharing this evening's topic, thinking beyond your current circumstances. And I'm so I'm just looking forward to this topic. So let's get let's delve into it. All so right. one of the things is that your current circumstances are not what you choose in life. Oh right? really? <laughs> Oh, How you appropriate. Didn't, you didn't choose the coronavirus. <laughs> no, we didn't. So um, did you choose your current circumstances? Well, some would say you've attracted that into your life. I don't know whether they'd say we attracted world. coronavirus. <laughs> the whole world life. attracted it. <laughs> no, but we've certainly attracted our current circumstances into our life. So you, you then want to look at how you're going to choose to experience your life. So how do you want to experience your life at the moment? Now, of course, we've got lots of restrictions it's very on very different to what it is. Let's put it that Absolutely, way. Absolutely, but we've got to we've got to learn to uh, choose to experience our new life, right? Because yes. it is a bit of a new Embrace life. Embrace the change. Embrace the change. And apparently, this is Holly. Hi, Holly, watching us over on Piggy's uh, Instagram. Oh, hi, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, so obviously, embracing change, and we've all got to embrace change at the moment. So, but going through this change and going through the situation, Lee. A lot of, a lot of the, what's going on at the moment can get people down, right? It can. People can feel claustrophobic, depressed. depressed. They can feel locked Lonely. up. <laughs> Lonely. Lonely. They can feel pissed off. <laughs> Angry. We've met a few angry people. <laughs> um, you can get fascinated with your, uh -huh. your, your loved ones, your partners, your, your yeah. children. No, your children, your parents. <laughs> Not mentioning any names. Anyway. Let's just mention children again. <laughs> children again. And it's only the first week of school holidays. So, um, well, it's only just started like two days ago. That's right. So, so for us, it's, it's about you've got to think beyond your current circumstances. 
But we also know that it's likely that our current circumstances are going to be with us for a little bit of time, right? We don't yeah. know how long. But they we've got six months. Well, we've so. got to embrace the change. So it could be that we're going to be living this life. G'day, Kim, and welcome to you. And, and hi hello to Debbie. over here to Michelle and Maureen. And we're on Instagram Live. So welcome to those following us on Facebook. We're on Loving Life Now, Lee's um, page. And we're also going live tonight on Instagram as well. So big hi to the Insta followers. G'day, <laughs> thanks for joining us. And uh, we're talking about our topic this evening called Thinking Beyond Your Current Circumstances. And it is such a relevant topic because today we we have such circumstances that have been brought upon us and we've got to think beyond that. So Lee, how do we, you know, how do we, I guess, change our focus to think, well, how do we embrace what's going on, not allow it to frustrate us or fascinate us, but how do we move forward with um, changing our thinking? So, well, the first thing you've got to do is, is handle what's going on right now. Yep. So you can't ignore it and you can't you know, hide under your pillow or under your bed and pretend it's not happening. It can is I, happening. Can I add a little bit in there to what you're saying? I guess the first thing is temporary, right? Yeah. Because what we're going it's through is a temporary right thing. right now. Yeah. It's not necessarily what's going to be happening next year. No. Or, so we're, right. in a, we're in a temporary holding pattern. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? Was it you said something today about um, we're in an alternative universe? Yes, we, <laughs> we are. are. We're in an alternative universe. <laughs> we yeah. are living in an alternative <laughs> universe. And, and what is going on? Um, in that alternative universe is crazy. And of course, we're all being affected by it. Um, so I guess go back on with what you were talking about and wanting to share about how you move through this. How do you? Um, well, like I said, you first got to, I suppose, acknowledge what's going on and, and handle what you have to handle. Yep. So you can't hide under a rock and pretend it's not happening. Um, but then not stay focused on it. So don't Focus on it to the point where you see it as your reality long term. No, you don't want to focus on being unhappy, do you? No. <laughs> so you've got to, you know, set the new goals as to what you want to achieve and focus on that because what you're going through right now is just now. Um, but what you focus on long term and you, you know, do um, take action towards and actually are excited about. And if you stay focused on that, then that can become your new reality. It can become new reality. I just want to say hello to uh, Jacinda's joined us late. But hey to you. And we've got um, Anne-Marie over here. And we've got mm -hmm. Anne-Marie on Insta. So we're streaming live on Facebook and also we're going live on Insta. And we're going to start doing this every every week when we do our Facebook Live. So those of you that are on Insta that have joined us, thanks for joining us over here. And we're going to be uh, uploading our full Facebook Lives onto IGTV mm -hmm. um, starting this week. So uh, that'll be um, something exciting. And Mandy's joined us too. Hey, Mandy. Good day, Mandy. Mm -hmm. And we're, so we're, we're talking about thinking beyond our current circumstances and so appropriate, of course. Now, one of the things we just mentioned is you've got you've got to change your happiness, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to um, pick yourself up because some of the things that are going on can be a little bit challenging. Yeah. And no doubt there is people out there that are being challenged, but um, you can either get caught up in that situation and stay in it, or you can um, think beyond it. And mm -hmm. you've got to you've got to really sort of focus on you know this is temporary. So what can I do temporarily that's going to uh, benefit me and then I can move myself forward to my goal so six months down the track things are going to look very different mm -hmm. so how do I how do I plan for that well you've got to focus on what you want in life right yeah so you can't just stop everything and go well um, it's all too hard it's all too hard I can't do this anymore um, I've lost my job and I'm gonna have a pity party I'll throw myself on the floor have a bit of a tantrum um, and you could do that but you can, maybe for five minutes. Five minutes, ten minutes, maybe fifteen. <laughs> and then you've got to pick yourself up and say, you know, now it's time to actually do something about it. And maybe this is the sign I've been looking for. Maybe this is, you know, the universe going, okay, well, it's time for change. You've procrastinated long enough. I'm going to make you change. Well, Peggy says, stop watching the news. <laughs> because that's a great thing. I mean, we are inundated with news reports. And it really doesn't matter where you are. And I'm just not talking about TV, whether it's, Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's LinkedIn, you know, our feeds are full of updates and, and, uh, and look, you can't, you don't want to be ignorant to what's going on. That's, that's a key. So, um, you certainly don't want to be ignorant. You want to be knowledgeable. And we always profess, uh, in our personal development program, Lee, about know for yourself, right? Yeah. So if there's a, if there's an address from the prime minister, watch his address, don't watch the news reports, <laughs> um, and, uh, what's going on. I mean, uh, we were watching a live stream today and when it finished, um, turned the television over to take it off Facebook connection and there was a whole news report about um, uh, George Pell getting out of 
getting out of prison. And I'm like, oh my God, there was like helicopters flying over. And it was just... To be honest, I don't even know who that is. (laughs) That was so (laughs) sensationalizing what was going on. Anyway, (laughs) we're diversifying from the topic. So um, think outside your current circumstances. Mm -hmm. Now that can be easier said than done, right? Can be, absolutely. So how do you do that? So you go ahead and create a vision for yourself short term. Yeah. Medium term. Start to daydream. What can I do? Write down a list of goals. Yep. I actually did that today. I wrote down a list of some goals that I want to achieve. And you know, sometimes, Lee, this is a really good... Adversity is an opportunity for people to actually create change. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's when you go through the adversity and you put in these circumstances, all of a sudden, you, you're forced into a situation of going, well, okay, I need to, I need to do something different. I've got to reinvent myself. I might have to put the pedal to the metal. Yeah. I might have to go harder. Um, maybe I've been coasting along and not really, um, you know, playing full out. So maybe I need to play full out in mm-hmm. what it is that I'm doing. Maybe I need to capitalize on the situation. I know in our business, uh, being a work from home online business, mm-hmm. we've got people who are making inquiries left, right and center because they're in those situations. They're looking for change. They're looking for uh, something new in their life. Well, because most people can't leave their house, so they need something that they can generate an income, right? Yeah, they could. They, it could be part time alongside of what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Even if they, even if they are working from home. I spoke to a guy in uh, in New Zealand today who, you know, his work has put him at home and he's working from home. But of course now he's saying, okay, well, how can I do this all the time? Mm-hmm. So what else could I be doing yeah. in order to change my reality? Absolutely. Um, so Gabby says, I'm so excited. I'm trying not to lean too far out here. I'm so excited about how much our world will change after this all over. So many new opportunities. Businesses have had no choice but to adapt. The world will never be the same. That's awesome. And that's great. And thanks for joining us over there on Insta. We are live on Facebook. And, uh, Holly says COVID-19 is the worst. Is the worst. <laughs> well, from, yeah, a, true, kid, true, from a kid's Holly. perspective, absolutely. Because <laughs> you're stuck at home and uh, you can't go out, you can't go to the park, you can't play on the park equipment. Um, you're lucky you can still go on the boat at the moment. But, and Holly uh, can't go to school. I'm sure she's really upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, allow a new way of thinking to consume yourself. So allow yourself to daydream, think big, be bold, be focused and speak in possibility. So what's possible for yourself? And you want to speak that into reality. Um, you've got to change, uh, come up with a new way of thinking. Absolutely. We all do. We all do. We've got to come up with a new way of thinking around what's going on in our lives today because of the situation that is out of our control. So how do you spend your time? Right? What are you doing? Are you using your time valuably? Yeah. You know, rather than sitting there watching a whole series on Netflix. Which you could do. You could do. Maybe on the weekend. Yeah. Uh, but during the week, you could be, you know, creating new business. You could be joining an online business. You could be, you know, doing some personal development. You could be reading some you inspirational reading. books. There's lots of things you could be doing. Podcasts. Yes. Yeah, so meditation. Yoga. Any, anything that's going to move you you forward to create better results in your life. Yeah. So all the, all these things are, are thinking beyond your circumstances, and of course. Uh, we spoke about how you're going to spend your time. One of the other things is who do you hang out with? <laughs> but we aren't hanging out with anyone. <laughs> well, in saying that, <laughs> well, we are online. No, but we've got a few. Um, we've got a few dates? Zo- Zoom dates. Zoom dates. We've got so some... you can still hang out with people, but do it through Zoom. Yeah. So uh, dress up, have a drink together. Yeah. 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 And, and I, uh, you know, I spoke to my mum the other day, and I said, "Mum, I want to start doing video calls because I can't see you." So. I really want, so I set her up on WhatsApp. She's got it on her phone. We did a video call. So uh, I have to do a quick video call this evening to her just to say hi. You know, and I think we've just got to ch- adapt the way that we do things. And mm-hmm. I said that to my daughters as well. You know, they live in Brisbane. We're on the Gold Coast. And I said, you know, if we're not able to see each other, maybe we need to jump on the phone rather than just being on the phone, phone, talking mm-hmm. voice. Um, we WhatsApp, we use video, you know. Yeah. And look, in years to come, Lee, I... I believe that everything will be video calling. And we could even do a family Zoom over Easter. You could, Absolutely. You could dial everyone in on Zoom and we could all go, hey. Yeah, or you can do a group on WhatsApp too. Yeah. yeah. Taras is a Zoom birthday party for family members. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. And Leanne says there are always silver linings to any bad situation. There is always silver linings and that's a big thing. So uh, again, we're we're uh, live on Facebook we're on like Loving Life Now, but we're also <laughs> live on Insta. We've got a... Another phone over here where we're going live on Instagram. So thanks for joining us over there. It's Jayla's phone. (laughs) 
All right. So, um, so back to the back to the topic is thinking outside beyond your current circumstances. And we've spoken about a couple of things, Lee, that uh, that we can do in shifting our mindset, setting goals, um, understanding that what we're going through is short term. Mm-hmm. G'day, Monique. How are you? Tough day here. Uh, so grateful for the seventeen day live and tonight. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, and it can be a tough day when you're, mm-hmm. particularly if you're a really social person. Oh yeah. And all of a sudden you're stuck in the home. And you're used to working in an environment around people and you love that, you know, you don't have the water cooler conversations. Actually, we've got a water cooler in the house. We need to go and meet by it during the day and well, just know, hang I'm, out by the water I'm cooler. I'm having major withdrawals because we were hardly ever home. Yeah. Like we would go out to dinner a lot, go to the movies, we would travel, we would, you know, we had three trips that we we're meant to be doing. We went to do an Australian tour. We've got all this stuff and I'm like, I'm sitting at home. What do I do now? <laughs> But we're busy, right? I know, but it's different busy. Yeah. Yeah. But we're busy. We're filling our time with other stuff. <laughs> so I'm one of those people, I'm not saying I'm struggling with it, but I'm coming to terms No, I wouldn't, wouldn't say struggling. because No, I didn't not... say that. I'm saying I'm coming to terms with the difference. But right. there's a few messages we, um, I don't want to lean in front right. of this. So Louise so said, to, don't no, have to, all right, let me, do, let me just uh, scroll down over here on Facebook. Peggy says, house party is for... It's fun for the kids to get together at the moment. Up to eight people on video. Oh, it's called House Party. Okay, it's fun for the ah, kids and, cool. and the big kids. I did see that. And um, Louise Miller says, don't have to be uh, ignorant of what is happening. Just don't get emotionally involved in it and focus on the positive. Mm-hmm. Tara says, I can hear so many saying this is the new moon. New norm. Oh, the new norm. Sorry. <laughs> That's my reading. But, uh, but to me, it's only temporary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it is, it it is, is. only temporary, absolutely. Jeff, yeah. g'day, mate. Uh, well, wave back to you. And uh, Colette says, I'm making the most of zero traffic and I can get to work in 10 minutes. Usually it takes 45. Well, that's, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. That's so a that's a bonus for you, for sure. So, you know, thinking beyond your circumstances, there's um, another thing, and that is you've got to give yourself a thought as to what's real and what's not real. Mm-hmm. So what is real about what's going on and... A lot of it seems really real. Some of it seems like we're living in fantasy land. Alternative universe. That alternative <laughs> universe. Um, so you really have to uh, not allow that to affect you in a way that's going to bring you down, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? So you've got to handle your current responsibilities. That's a big key. Mm-hmm. Is that don't put your head in the sand and think, oh, this will be fine It'll in a couple of weeks. figure itself out. <laughs> yeah. Because um, that may not be the case. So Be nice, but... yeah. So you just got to go with the flow and step up to the plate. Handle your current responsibilities, whatever they might be. Um, that's what I do these days, taking my family and friends on a video on video calls in New Zealand and Fiji. Good on you, Sophia. Um, I think it's Sophia. Yeah. Yes. And Louise Miller says, Louise says, love the new moon. Well, Louise, awesome. it's actually a full moon tonight. I don't know. It, it looks very dark outside of me. Yeah, but there's clouds in front of it. <laughs> It's a full moon tonight. Well, stuck where we are anyway. Who, who knows where... Tara probably knows. Tara, is it a full moon tonight? Let us know. I'm pretty sure it is. Simon, you're brilliant. There really is one today. What? <laughs> um, there really is you're, one today. You're brilliant. Just, I, I, just I'll take, take that, that bit. I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> so I'll take, I'll take the full moon. <laughs> brilliant. So... So handle your current. See, I'm right. All right. So yeah. handle your current responsibilities. Thanks, that's why all the crazies are out, right? Yeah, that's right. Us. <laughs> so um, handle your current responsibilities, and how do you do that? Prioritize. Mm-hmm. Put things in a priority. Make a list, and cross it off. What do you yeah. have to do? If you have got some um, challenges with what's going on and and uh, it's affecting your life, get it sorted. Don't procrastinate. Mm-hmm. Right. And then once you move through that, it's an opportunity for a new way of thinking. So once you've supported that and it's gone and it's dusted and it's out of the way, then of course you can start just moving forward in a positive way. Piggy says, it will be, I see it. Oh, she can see the moon. It's a full moon, says Monique. That makes sense for the crazy day. It is. Crazy day. That's <laughs> we've got some newbies over here. Um, Holly says that we're awesome. Thanks, Holly. Um, we've got Pauline and Jessica who have joined us over here too. Okay, oh, you know Pauline? Yeah. Uh, Pauline Marks. So I don't know Hi, if it's Mark, Mark or... It could be Marks or Pauline Marks or Jessica Jessup. And there's a Mark too. So hey, and there's Mark. Mark. Mark and Mark in Korea or Mark Korea. Um, so uh, if you joined us live on Facebook, uh, big thanks for joining us. We're discussing the topic of uh, thinking beyond your current circumstances, which is so appropriate. But but for first time, Lee and I are live on Instagram. I know. So hey to all our followers hey, hey. over here on Insta as well. Uh, big welcome to you and thanks for joining us on Insta. 
And we're also going to be uploading our Facebook Lives to IGTV starting this week. So that's a, a new development. So keep an yeah. eye out for that. And uh, pretty excited about that. Mandy says, uh, it's a good time to review your outgoing costs, your personal budget, so you have more dollars for marketing. Totally agree. I think it's a great time to just take responsibility and handle your current circumstances. Evaluate everything you've got. You know, are we, are we on the best phone plan? Are we on the best insurance? Are yep. we on the... Do we, we really the, need that subscription? Yeah, we got the best loan. Do we need that subscription? Do we need that gym membership? <laughs> <laughs> well, Probably not right now. Not right now. <laughs> Suspend things, you know? If, if, uh, you know, if there's opportunities to take advantage of I'm sure of places things, like that would put them on pause yeah. anyway. <laughs> if there's opportunities to take advantage of things um, and not have to pay for them at the moment, go do that, right? Yeah. Get it sorted. Take responsibility for what's going on. Um, you don't need to disconnect emotionally when things get difficult. No. Right? That's important. Don't disconnect emotionally when things get difficult. Stay the, stay the course of where you're going. Support yourself by acknowledging that this is just temporary and we're going to get through it and uh, we're going to get out the other side of it. And the process is that I'm working towards bigger goals and bigger dreams. And when, now we've got a... So you go. When you've got adversity and you push through it and you succeed anyway, like that's what that's how you grow. That's how you get stronger and that's yeah. how you... I suppose, create resilience and be able to, you know, um, really face anything. And yep. yeah, anyway, I'm rambling now. What you um, Jeff just said, what is your guiding intention today? Which was uh, on our 17 day uh, program that Shane Crider delivered earlier today. Uh, Dee says also find a way um, to be joyous, right? Mm-hmm. Every day. Monique says, great. Uh, got a new uh, phone. got a new phone with, with great, great international plan. Awesome. So getting stuff handled, that's what it's about. So mm-hmm. if you've got to get things handled, now's the time to be able to get things handled. Mark just confirmed his Mark. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> um, uh, so now's the time to get things handled. Go through, evaluate what's going on for yourself. Um, look at your expenses, your outgoings, um, and focus, set your goals. You know, what, what are we going to achieve? Now, the most important thing um, is to know that you can overcome your circumstances, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. Any successful is, person you, you follow or you see has overcome something. Absolutely. And usually it's more than one thing. They've overcome hurdle after hurdle after hurdle after hurdle, but still succeeded. And realize that you're not no longer going to be going in the same direction or the same way as maybe you have in the past. Maybe this is an opportunity for growth. Maybe mm-hmm. it's an opportunity for change. Maybe it's an opportunity just to uh, reevaluate your life, your family life. Um, and where things are at for you and say, well, you know, things are changing. So what can we do differently? You yeah. know, what are, what are we grateful for? What have we taken things for granted? Um, you know, there's lots of things that we take for granted that we can just jump in the car and go down to a cafe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can't do that now, right? Um, we can get takeaway. But... Well, you can. You can go down and support your only local it, businesses. Only if it's essential. Yeah. You can get takeaway. My, my yeah. chai latte on almond milk is essential. <laughs> That's an essential, <laughs> essential well-being thing. All right. So, um, what was the other thing? Not going to live without trying out a new way. So, don't don't get stuck in the fact of you know this is it, and I'm not going to try something new. Mm-hmm. Um, because now is the time to get outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, I know that people are having to exercise from home. They're having to watch uh, YouTube videos and Instagram <laughs> videos, yoga and, and yoga, and, and you know exercise. From, I was watching. Um, Oh, who's, who plays Thor? Um, sorry, I've got a Chris mental blank. Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth, yeah. yeah. See, I don't remember his name because he's some hot-looking guy. Well, so should. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> you he should was, have his picture up on your vision yeah, board. He was... <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> who agrees? <laughs> you'll probably get all the women saying, yes, yeah. yes. So um, uh, one of the things he was sharing was how does he keep his body like Thor <laughs> when, he's, when he can't go to the gym, right? So... He was talking about uh, being able to use other things around the house to exercise mm-hmm. and doing uh, different exercises at home to be able to maintain your fitness. So there's things we can be doing differently. There's things that we can uh, implement into our lives to overcome our think beyond our current circumstances. Mm-hmm. Don't let it get you down. That's a big thing. Is um, Put a smile keep a on your face like Mandy says. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep a positive mindset. And, and give that smile to someone else. So if you do need to go to the supermarket and... Get the essentials. Don't be that angry person that rams you with their trolley. <laughs> be because that of person. COVID nineteen, we can grit, we can um, something the boat and the farm and home for the COVID nineteen. 
Um, we can go, go to the, the farm, farm in the boat. and she can go to the boat. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe the maybe. boat might be out uh, for a little while. Don't tell her that. <laughs> but uh, but the big thing is um, is you just it's it's all about the mindset. You know? Yeah. You've got to you got to think positively about what's going on for you, and um, and just reframe that that thinking. All right, and reframe it. So what are we going to do differently? Uh, and we just start, make a list. And what can I learn new that yep. I don't know or that I haven't done before, which is what Ros said, grateful for the new learnings. New learnings. Pinky There's lots said, of new learnings. So he said, oh, that's flying too, way too fast for mine. Uh, Christian Hill says, smiling is contagious. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there who need it at the moment, particularly when you're at the grocery store. Uh, we do, uh, what is that, Cos- Cosmic Kids Yoga as a family at 9am. What a cracker, our body... We just uh, don't bend as a seven-year-old. Awesome start of the day. Mark said the shops are scary. The shops are scary, Mark. I agree. (laughs) The people in the shops are scary. (laughs) I think that uh, I think that there's a lot of angst out there, and the best thing we can be doing is to uh, put a smile on people's face. Mum was showing me photos today. There's people that are putting plastic bags over their head and going to the supermarket. Really? Is that for real? Yes. (laughs) Probably saw it on Instagram. Probably. Or maybe Facebook. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, how to suffocate yourself. <laughs> um, I noticed so many people uh, looking away and down as they're too scared to smile. Mm-hmm. I'm smiling and saying hi. And I think that's the main thing is that, yeah. you know, even when you're walking, you walk out in the neighborhood, even though you keep your distance, say good day, morning. Someone's giving us angry faces. Say hello. And, uh, well, probably because they don't want you to put a plastic bag on your head to, to go shopping. That would be terrible. <laughs> it would be terrible. All right. Well, that's uh, if you've got anything you'd like to share about how you feel that you can think beyond your current circumstances. Um, Lee and I have shared our perspective on how that applies in today's society and pretty big at the moment. Um, Charlotte says, great learning so much now, just looking for all the beauty around us. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we've got to be grateful for, for so much that's going on. And somebody is giving us angry faces. Well, Smile back at you. You you don't have to stay on the stream (laughs) if you don't like us. That's right. You can always leave. (laughs) Um, So the big thing, the big thing is, we'll get lots of, we'll get lots of love for that. (laughs) So the big thing is, is that, um, you know, think beyond those circumstances, change the way that, of what you're thinking and think about how you can do things differently. Set those goals, create your vision, know that it's, uh, what's going on is temporary and that you can create whatever it is that you want to create. Um, Beyond your circumstances. Exactly. And everyone's circumstances at the moment are similar but different, right? That's we're, right. We're yeah, all, yeah. We've all been confined and we've all got restrictions on us and we've all got to do things differently, which is great. You know, we've, we're doing it for the best, for, for the good of everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's something that's really important to remember that we are out there doing it for the, for the, uh, for the well-being of everyone else. Exactly. Um, you, you can read that message. Uh, Debbie Sue says, I cripply, uh, I'm not sure, I sh- something said hello to a couple in the supermarket earlier today and they gave me a bewildered look and almost ran away. They had almost, uh, I had all, had me almost in tears of laughter. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is, that is pretty weird. I'm so grateful that I have a community to keep me focused through the time. Thanks, Agatha. And I think, that, you know, that's a big thing is that you do want to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who uh, are like-minded, people who are um, being positive around you. And yeah. if you've got negative people around you, maybe don't those people... Like should, Mr. Angry Face. Like the Angry leave. Face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so maybe, maybe you know, don't hang around those people. Mm. Um, if, if you've got angry people in your life, um, steer clear. And uh, But, you know, we're, we're uh, glad that we are here and glad that we're able to share our topic this evening. Uh, on Facebook Live, um, thinking beyond your current circumstances, of course, and Instagram Live, Yay. first time oh, yeah, I'm live on Instagram. So get on Instagram, <laughs> over on there, and uh, and of course we will be uploading to IGTV. Yeah. So Not that's sure about. We do that, but we'll do that. We'll work that out this week. That's a new learning. <laughs> it is. So thinking beyond our current circumstances. So we're looking at okay, what can we do differently? Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got some other things up our sleeve that we're playing with the idea about. I've got any sleeves. No. But um, IGTV is going to be one, and uh, streaming on Instagram is another, you know, mm-hmm. so a stream will stay up there for 24 hours on your yeah. stories. Um, what does Leanne say? Just watched uh, the docuseries on Bill Gates. He went through a lot of obstacles to achieve his success. A great example of someone who stuck to his vision. Absolutely. Um, totally agree, Agatha, said Jacinda. 
So anyway, that's that's it from us. Uh, it is. If there's anything else you'd like to add or anything you'd like to share that um, think beyond your current circumstances, something that you know inspired you to think outside the square. Finally on, Melanie. Excellent. Um, we're leaving. We're about to go. <laughs> but you can listen to the recording if you just jump on the page after we hit uh, save. You'll be able to listen to the whole stream. Absolutely. And look, great to be here. Great to be on Facebook Live and also live on Insta. So uh, hey to everyone. And thanks for joining us. We will be back next week, probably um, same time. Probably same, Tuesday again, I think, next same week. Same time, yeah. same channel. Uh, we'll be on uh, Facebook Live and Insta Live. And uh, we will see you there. Absolutely. So thanks, follow us guys. on Facebook. Have a good one. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye.